are two topics that I see on the rise in the sales industry. Well, one is likely no surprise to any of you watching, and that would be Gen AI, Generative Artificial Intelligence, Gen AI use cases in sales, largely because the promise of AI has always been to speed up and make easier sales interactions such that you can reach more customers with better messages. And now with generative AI, that promise is really turning into a reality across a number of use cases. It's still early days, there's still innovations, but clearly that is the topic du jour and one that most sales organizations are paying attention to. The second topic I would say is um, pretty important, particularly when it comes to driving productivity in an uncertain environment, is figuring out how to continue to motivate your top talent and performers. In the past few years, we've seen almost half of business-to-business -business organizations witness annual turnover of greater than 30%, much of that undesired. So figuring out how to attract, excite, retain, and continue to offer meaningful professional development to your top salespeople is also a topic that we see of increasing importance these days. If I could summarize the Sales 3.0 conference in just a few words, let me take a gander at this. First, fun. Absolutely. I have been coming to this conference for the past, I think, probably a decade. And every time I come, I have a fantastic time. I meet new people. I meet friends that I've had for a long time. It's a wonderful opportunity to network. It is just a great way to spend some time getting to hear from other professionals in, the, um, in, in sales and have, just have a really good time. So fun. Second, informative. I always learn something new. As a speaker, I'm here to hopefully impart a few new things to the participants of, of the conference, but as a participant myself, I always walk away with one or two new ideas. And one idea I'm walking with just as of the last few hours, frankly, is thinking about is there a faster or a better way to do bottoms up forecasting, which is a really painful activity for salespeople. We're at that time of year where they're doing it for the next year. So that's something new that I've learned. So fun and informative would be two things that I'd say about the conference. A couple of points that Rochelle, my colleague, and I made in our session today were really related to how to continue to get productivity out of your sales organization in an uncertain environment. We at McKinsey have been tracking sales organizations and what drives growth, what constitutes the most productive organizations for well over a decade, almost actually 20 years now since, the, um, since we first published our book on sales growth. And two things that we shared today with the audience that I really hope they take away. Number one, the situation in the external environment, what's going on in the macroeconomy, macro what's going on in your sector, they are important. They provide context for your business, but they don't necessarily determine the success of your sales organization. Every sales organization, no matter whether we're in a recessionary environment or we're growing like gangbusters, every organization can find opportunities to free up more time for selling and make that time more productive. That is a, a hallmark of a great sales organization in any economic circumstance. The second thing that we shared that I, I really hope folks will take away is that in every industry, Companies who are really great at harnessing product productivity out of their sales organizations, they do so by experimenting with common sense ideas. Not everything needs to be a big transformation. You could be a company that just asks your salespeople, what is your single greatest frustration with our CRM? And you solve that one thing. That one thing could be an unlock of up to an hour's worth of productivity a day. It could be you experiment with Gen AI just on a set of new proposals and ask the question, how can I better pitch this particular product to customer X, given everything you know about customers in that sector? Maybe you get a much better answer for your proposal than you ever would have gotten if you spent six weeks on a study to try to create you know, the perfect proposal in a win room. So I do really hope people will take away that you get productivity in any economic circumstance. And number two, you can be very practical, very tactical. You don't always have to, to go at something in an overwhelming way to get the benefit of it.